really appreciate joining us. If you like what you see in today's video, I'd encourage you to check out some of the other places that I've visited around uh, colleges, universities, uh, and the NFL. Uh, today's trip is uh, exciting. It's week one of college football. Uh, a top five matchup between Ohio State and Notre Dame, but it, it, it's something extra special to me. Uh, I played college football at Ohio State uh, several years ago, and we are actually having a reunion for the team that I was a part of that won a national championship in 2002. Um, so I'm excited to share with you. I'll get to show you the, the, the view from the field as we are able to be recognized as a team together. And uh, if you're a Buckeye fan, you'll enjoy some of the familiar faces from that 2002 season. Uh, so I'll share some of that with you. But then the other aspect that's extra special to me is um, I grew up in Ohio and grew up an Ohio State fan. And uh, I remember vividly the first time I got to go to a game and I get to do that for the first time uh, with my own kids during this trip. So I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, I know that if you're a college football fan, you have to be if you're watching this, that you probably remember your fi first time going to a game or, or maybe taking a, a young one to a game. So excited to share that with you and excited to uh, be having this experience together. We pulled off on a little side access road because we're at the Kentucky Cincinnati airport to pick up a rental car. When you drive one of the, the class A motor homes, a lot of times you'll see the tow vehicle behind it, the towed, they call it. We don't have one of those yet. So we rent cars when we get to where we're going, but it's a little tricky a lot of times finding space for the RV to pick up your rental, so it always takes a little bit of logistical work to figure out where you're gonna where you're gonna go. So picking up the rental car. Sweet upgrade at the Emerald Isle. Now we're heading to uh, to Ohio. Okay, we've got another uh, sidetrack. All of our Buckeye gear is dated and faded, or we don't have any. So we're stopping at the apparel store to get our swag up. Mommy's meeting us inside. All right, we're on the home stretch. We're making it to my mom and dad's place. And we got a super quick turnaround to get up to the event tonight in Columbus. It's kind of a dinner for the sponsors that helped put on this whole reunion this weekend. So. Super thrilled to be linking back up with some guys that uh, I haven't seen for, gosh, some of them, 20 years. It's gonna be great. Yes. She, she's grown fast. Well, she's grown eight inches since I've seen her. Yeah, she's grown fast. God. All right, a super fast turnaround at mom and dad's place. Uh, everybody's dolled up. Amy's looking good. Girl's looking clean. Uh, excited to see these guys that I haven't seen for a lot of them for 20 years. Uh, I, I can't wait to meet some of the kids of guys. I'm like, I, wait, you had kids? And maybe there's going to be guys thinking the same about me with my kids. Uh, but it's it's the same reunion feelings that you'd I guess you'd have for a high school reunion. It's just uh, really exciting to get up here and see these guys. I'll try to show you as many familiar faces if you're a Buckeye fan as you can. And Michael Jenkins, and then when the ball came down, he said, I had the number one shot in America of the Holy Buckeye. Just learned that one today. It's pretty good. So, I have to take over for you because we got to move a little quicker. Okay, so. <laughs>
up. Oh, yes. <laughs> Well, it's been a great night. I loved reconnecting with a bunch of old teammates. Um, most of those guys I haven't seen since I graduated, so it's spectacular to see those guys. Uh, met a bunch of kids that uh, of guys that is just awesome to see them. They got to meet my, my family, Amy and the girls. We showed them around, took the girls afterward here. We're kind of going down through campus, seeing what campus nightlife looks like. We picked up an Adriatico's Pizza, our all-time favorite pizza spot. It's been an awesome night. I'm gonna spend it with these girls and get ready for tomorrow. Today was a good day. Great to see everybody. But tomorrow is game day. <laughs> farm, 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 farm. All right, it's Saturday, game day. Uh, we are pumped to be heading up to Ohio Stadium. Uh, today is it's like a, it's a milestone day. I, I'm not saying it's like a birth of a child or a, a wedding type milestone, but maybe maybe on par with like a high school graduation or a first day of kindergarten kind of milestone. Uh, taking my my kids to their first ever college football game at our alma mater. Uh, it, it's a huge thing, and, and it got me thinking about this college football. I, I remember so specifically my first Ohio State game. It was in the early 90s with, with my parents. And I remember everything about it, the sights, the smell, the band, the, 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 the players, the colors, every part of it is so vivid that I'm excited to share that with my kids. But it, it's, it's more than that. Part of college athletics passion, your fandom is inherited. It's, it's not a choice. You know, a lot of people choose to be a, a Golden State Warriors fan or Kansas City Chiefs. No, when you're a college fan, uh, so often it's inherited and so that that Ohio State fandom was passed down to me and I'm excited to, to pass that to my kids and one of the frustrations I have with college football today with so much movement of, of players and, and even coaches that everybody just jump ship first thing going there, there's no transfer portal for fans I, I have good friends that are Georgia Tech fans and, and friends that are fans of universities that haven't been good or in a long time if ever but it's their university, that's their fandom, and it's passed down because it's, it's, it's woven into the fabric of their, their family history. So, uh, I don't know, I'm just ex excited for my own girls getting their first time to be here to see all these sights and sounds. It's gonna be an amazing day, and I'm over the moon excited about it. Set your phone down on something. <laughs> ah! Oh, you have a stick. Elf! Wait, what is it again? <laughs> what? Is, what are what's the, what's the, what's the, what's happening? That's French? Yeah. Are you going to be yelling that from the stadium today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the garage. Why are you videoing Amy, that? the operator. Look at this. I can't see my mirror. I can't see the mirror because I'm videoing. Look <laughs> oh my at this. God. Flawless. She's an operator. We're getting in the garage. Taking one more bite at the apple. We're backing in. We're almost in there. Move your hand. Took a quick look at college game day, heading into some kind of meal that they're providing at the back Blackwell, the hotel where all the players, I think that's where they still stay. It's where we stayed. So we'll see what's going on in there. Guys forever, history will always tell the story of what this 2002 team did. The joy that it brought to so many people, we've all heard it. We've all gotten letters and emails over the years that I never thought I'd see another championship at Ohio State before I died, and then you guys won it in 2002. Now you've made it an expectation. And so we're so proud of you. Everywhere we've gone these last couple of days, people like to admire Ellen's 10 gold pants that she's got around the
Yeah. <laughs> We found our way over to the Ohio State Marching Band practice field and met a group of student, what were they called? Student, student assistants, I think, student staff that uh, were just so gracious to talk with us. With, with Whitney being in the marching band, it's been awesome. So we're gonna sit here and watch uh, them, them do their rehearsal. It's just an incredible part of college athletics is yeah, everybody's here for the game, but there's an equally passionate group of fans that are here just as excited about the band look right here this is a, a high school that is that a high school that's just here to, to watch the band and so it's wild for me to think about how all the players are super focused doing their thing but there's a whole nother population of people having a huge day uh, you know getting ready for their own in-game experience so this has been a ton of fun we got to walk through Buckeye Grove uh, that was a lot of fun to see I, I know I've been through Buckeye Grove, but I haven't been through in a long, long time. So it was really cool to walk through that and see the history, obviously, of going all the way back to guys like Chick Harley, uh, you know, one of the like, original Buckeye trees in Buckeye Grove, but also a bunch of my, my teammates that uh, were all American to be able to see their monument that will be there for so long. That's, that was uh, a lot of fun to walk through that. That was pretty cool. That was amazing. That's pretty cool. May have gotten a skosh. May have gotten a skosh, skosh emotional during Carmen, Ohio. Uh -huh. Maybe just a skosh. <laughs> What's a skosh? Just a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, that was an incredible blessing we got to do. We uh, met some folks that treated us very kind that are with the band, but one of the I don't know, was it a student assistant? Somebody had the authority to let us go up to the viewing platform, platform. so we got to watch the entire halftime, pregame, postgame performance from up there. Uh, perfect viewing, I mean, the most ideal spot you could be. So that was, that was incredible uh, to see.
reconcile this. I, I have vivid memories as a player of being in between quarters and they would be like announcing, hey, let's welcome the 1986 Big Ten champion Ohio State Buckeye team and these old geezers come out and, and wave and now I'm that guy. And it's like wild because in my mind I'm out there on the field but now I'm the guy like waving and I'm fired up to be out there. This is gonna be amazing. It's so good to see all my teammates. This is so cool. And on the balls. It's hard to describe. I can't believe it. What an incredible experience. So hard to describe. Such a surreal experience. I haven't been out here in 20 years. Unbelievable. Incredible. It was a little nerve wracking in the first half, but the Bucks got a win. An incredible first first game for these girls. Girls, did you have a good time? Yes. Yeah. Army had a good time. It was amazing. It was an awesome, awesome night. So thankful to be able to go out on the field, spend the time with my teammates. Uh, just an awesome, awesome night. We made it home. It's 2 a.m. I'm gonna put it to bed for the night. A lot to process. Incredible day. We'll figure out more tomorrow. Can we go around? Can we go? Can we go? Can we go? <laughs> <laughs> It'll be YouTube worthy. No, no. Do something YouTube worthy. <laughs>
I am still riding a high from last night, uh, being back out on the field at the stadium and, and just being there was so incredible. I, I, I'm, I hope that you were able to kind of see what it was like to be there. I'm thankful to share it with you. But I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm moved by reconnecting with teammates that I haven't seen a lot of those guys for 20 years. My life has only been lived through the lens of, of football. It's been such a big part of my life. And so I, I I hope that you all would have people in your life that you share that connection with. And I, and I think it's special with us as football players, or this is my perspective, the adversity that we face. Our, that, that team went through a ton of challenges, won a lot of close games. And, and those challenges are what galvanized, what made us so tight that even though we haven't seen each other, I haven't seen those guys for 20 years, the, the hugs and the embraces were that much, so much impactful because of, of that, that that connection. I, I think I have that with people I went to high school with and, and people I work with and obviously with family, but it, it is that. It's, it is a, a bond as close as family because of experiences you have together. So I, I hope that you all have that, or if you don't, that you were able to see what I had and, and maybe can find it. Uh, so that was just a great part of, of last night. The other aspect was uh, taking my kids to their first game. That was, uh, it was it was as good as I had hoped for. It, it was as special as I, as I had expected. Uh, they seem to have a great time. And I don't know that they're gonna be Ohio State fans forever. I don't know that they're gonna go to, they're probably not gonna go to Ohio State. But it was fun to pass that to them, to share that with them. That experience of passing something down, something that matters so much to your kid, that matters so much to you, in the hopes that either they choose to, to, to join in or find that for themselves. And it was, a, it was a special moment for me last night. I, again, I'm always appreciative that you would, if you're watching all the way to this point, uh, it matters to you too. So I'm appreciative that you would stick around and that if you want and are interested, I'm gonna visit more places this fall that maybe won't be the as personal because of my own connection to Ohio State, but uh, other places that I'll visit, I know there are just as strong as passionate people there uh, as me with my alma mater. So I'm thankful for you spending the time. Thanks.